Hey guys, this is Quinitra, friend of God here, and it's been a while since I drove in my car out, and I've been in a house locked up with the Lord, and as I come outside, you know, I'm not going to say I couldn't tell that I wasn't, you know, that I was in God's presence, but when I come outside and I come out, I feel the like the glory still on me. And all I know is that I have been working really hard. I mean, if you know my testimony, you know, last year, you know, the in and out. And then I could talk about the year before that, that I was with God. But, you know, in and out don't count with God. And that's why I keep it real. I talk about my struggles as if I was on judgment day. You know, we all justify, don't we? Well, God, I understand. You know, you understand why I'm masturbating or, you know, stuff that we're not supposed to be doing. Single, married, fiance, whatever. And there's certain boundaries that shouldn't be crossed. You know, and, and there should be no justification. As you go about your day, all I'm saying, and what a lot of us on YouTube, why we dedicate our time to make videos is because God is stating the urgency of salvation and everyone's looking at God like you are so uncool you're boring and you're trying to tell me basically to put on a robe worship you don't ask for no phone calls don't touch myself when I want to get off be single and just work don't work on the Sabbath which is Saturday and just turn the other cheek Y'all know me, I like to keep it real with these messages. Because you're dealing with a generation that's wicked. We're dealing with a, gen a, a, a very wicked generation. Whether if you live in America, China, Africa, Australia, Italy. I'm talking about all over. Uh, United Kingdom, the UK. I think about that a lot. I think about people in London and the UK a lot. I don't know why. I do. And also, you know, God has ministered to me about Africa is very blessed. You know, God is really breaking forth in Africa. And I have dreamed of going there. And, you know, I know, you know, it's coming. You know, I've never been out of Texas. I don't think a lot of you guys know that, but no, I have not. And God has timings and things for everything. But what I'm praying is for the love of the body of Christ and unity to finally come forth and break because we got a lot of us that look at each other and judge one another. Oh, you got to do this before I do that. They want handouts and favors. There's so many times, you know, that I could have recorded or did something with my music and um, made it in the secular world and God warned me. You don't have time to do both. You either got time to serve me or serve the devil. We call ourselves believers. What are we doing with our belief? Are we sitting there telling people, honey child, I'm telling you, you better get saved. You better get saved. Is God talking to you while you're talking to somebody else? Is God telling you, hey, I don't like that that uh, shirt that you got in your closet because it cuts too much cleavage. Them pants is too tight. You need to uh, get something else. You need to watch how you look and the, the longevity, how you stand in men's presence. I know you like them jersey, uh, jersey shorts, son, but your, your manhood is, is, is uh, enticing and drawing. People. Whatever is drawing somebody in the wrong way, you got to cut it off or cut it out. And you might want to do it before God takes away the full blessing or takes away something in your life that you may want. A lot of us, we put ourselves through a lot of stuff. Half of the things that we go through, we don't want to wait on God. Why? Because God's ways is not our ways. Everyone in the Bible, everything that God wanted to do, he had promises and different wants us to be patient he's a god of patience he's a god of observing and watching wants to see you uh survive and pass the test when you're tempted he wants to see where your heart is <laughs> he likes to fixate your heart 
and judge your heart before he gives you something. You got a lot of people out here who got businesses and they're rich and nice cars, but they don't want to take nobody to church. And we got all these religious statements about religious things. Why do we keep going through the basics? Why is there always a basic... level preaching why are we not deeper to the kingdom and understanding that we got a kingdom mindset and we are kingdom people and we move in the prophetic the spiritual realm where is the kingdom minded people who know that we really truly don't wrestle against flesh and blood humans but we still fight each other where are the the mature people who will help the ones who are immature and who need help to know that we wrestle against principalities who wants to wrestle against a demon in a high sp spiritual uh principality things that we watch inside of movies and super heroic things and we see these animals and creatures and these different things like predator and all these different things and you coming up against basically like street fight or something you regular old person like motor combat and you got a reptile thing you fight against that got a long 50 foot tongue when it lick out and, and, and hit you for some of y'all that's funny i want to laugh too but in the spiritual realm, you got so many nasty creatures and different dark sides of different things. You know, a lot of us are in fear. That's why a lot of uh, pastors stay on the basic level because, first of all, you're rejecting the, the own word of God that you serve because it already says that we, are re we wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places. So what are you going to do about it? I don't even know uh, if, if, if uh, serving God is for some people. Because we want to take the Bible and hit people with it like a belt. We want to judge and stuff like that. Man, if you're not Holy Ghost sanctified field and you sitting there pointing the finger, I'm talking about the judgment falls on the church of God first. That's what, what God say. He come to judge the house of God first. Now, these people out here who are trying to learn and don't know God, they don't know no better. God ain't going to judge a child like, like a mother when she hits a child the wrong way and trying to uh, hit a, a one-year-old, two-year-old, and he, he don't even know the things of a five- and a six-year-old. But you start getting held accountable when you start teaching your kids too, too uh, early on stuff that you're doing that ain't supposed to be learned. We, we, we become to accountable age soon, 10, 11, 12. You know, people out here who know how to commit suicide at 10 or 8 years old, and people still don't believe that there's a section in hell for kids. I know that these messages is not made to gain people. I see my, you know, subscribers go up and down. God is trying to teach the kingdom. The kingdom of what? All the people he see falling into hell every day. And he's just like, whoa, that's just way too many. But guess what? The first world, right? The first world died like that. The majority went where? To hell. I don't think that this time around we just won't eight to ten people saved just noah and the animals of the couples two by two and a few family i don't think you know that that that's the that's a lot of people in hell hey it happened before it's up to us if we want it to happen again but i definitely believe that you know that's what happens when worldwide, when God lets out worldwide judgment at one time. That's why God has mercy, because he knows he can save more people this way. If he looked at everybody and was just like, I'm going to give y'all to a certain extent limit to get yourselves right. And then after a certain limit, you continue to keep sinning. And he goes, I'm about to blow everybody up and send fire. Man, do you know how many people right now would die in a sin? That's why God loves long suffering. And we sit here and we complain and murmur, where is God? Where is he at? I've been in this situation for eight, five years and he still ain't taking me out of the situation. Well, a car could have just came and just swiped and hit you swiftly. And you could have been falling into hell. That's why life is dragging out 2,000 years plus has passed by and all these different things going on because God knows his infinite wisdom. Oh, God don't care. He let people get raped and all these different things. And Yeah, guess what? Everybody's going to get their, their reward for their life and their actions of what they're doing. But God is still trying to get to you. you ought to be, we ought to be grateful and merciful that God is allowing life to continue 
to get to us while other things are going on with other people. Yeah, it's sad, but guess what? God's ways are higher than ours. He's, he's going, oh, my daughter will be with me after she gets murdered and this, 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 and that, and I will deal with that one that did that to her. Now, what about you for the ones who ain't getting kidnapped and raped and molested and underground sex trafficking? What about you, the kingdom breakers who know how to pray something and you can, and you can pray a house down just like a medium gets on TV helping investigators find a dead body that's been uh, 10 years ago. That's just a shame. I don't like those kind of shows. I don't even watch TV. I don't have a TV in my house, purposely. And I watch my music. I listen to a little bit of worship music all here and there, but no, I'm watching my gates, my mouth gate, my eye gate, my mouth gate, you know, ears, everything, my mind, all of that. So, that's what's supposed to be swirling in your mind every day. Don't get distracted by your TV shows, those who have TVs in their house, and distracted by your family. A lot of us got good family and good friends, and we can't get out the circle of that to steal away and talk to God. And we keep asking ourselves, what's the problem? What's the problem? A lot of y'all good on social media. You got all your good pictures, all your nice little stuff, your little nice little shape, your six-pack, your little nice little body and stuff, and you got you loving the attention that you get and all that stuff like that, you know. Where's your deliverance? Come up out of what you're doing. Where's your deliverance? So some of y'all take some of your pictures down. And that's how God shuts a lot of stuff down for a lot of people. Because they don't know how to separate wheat from tear, so to speak. So you get mad at God when he shut things all the way down. Hey, it's not God's fault. It's not his fault. When he's trying to teach you. So we want to stay at that level. Oh, I don't know. Well, I didn't read the Bible. I didn't know. Well, how am I supposed to know why God would send me to hell? Because guess what? God was at a place too with me when he was trying to teach me. And guess what? When I was sitting there acting like I didn't know or not learning or, hey, I learned all this, but it's hard though. It's hard out here. I don't know how to imply all this. God was just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You better, you better uh, uh, come now. I see the devil coming. You better come now. I see the devil coming. He still wants you. And guess what? The accountability and the penalty is for denying and saying no to learning. A lot of people think, if I don't learn God to read the Bible and I drag it out, nah, that's that's a lying, deceptive devil speaking to your mind. Don't let the devil control your mind and deceive you and drag you to hell. Stepping on some toes, I know. But guess what? I, I will never tell you something. I will never not tell you something that God didn't tell me. So if he told me like that, I got to tell you exactly the way he told me. He did not justify my sin that I wanted him in. And it's a shame. I'm the one that messed up my life and did certain things that didn't wait on God. Making it hard for the real true kingdom people to come into my life. You know what I mean? But then again, like I said, if something be for God and you're for someone, there's nothing you can do to mess it up. Be blessed.